We also want to talk about the election because we're more than a week past the vote, but we can go back now and take a deeper dive into the data. Latino voters turned out in really high numbers, and their votes benefited both President Trump and President-elect Biden. But as Morgan Romero shows us, it's important to understand that we can't oversimplify this diverse voting bloc. America's new growing majority, non-white Americans, heavily influenced the election. Specifically, Latinos, who projections show turned out in record numbers. But that's pretty much the only generalization we can make about the roughly 32 million eligible Latino voters in the United States. Contrary to some beliefs, they're not a single uniform voting bloc. I think it's important to challenge a little bit this, the, the, what I'm hearing as this national narrative. While exit polls indicate about two-thirds supported Biden, Trump picked up many more Latino voters compared to 2016. Advocates and experts say there's no such thing as the, quote, Latino vote. And we, we can't generalize that. We have to really um, talk to them and figure out what it is that they need and what is what they're being affected by. Support for each candidate is about as diverse as each individual person. Latinos are a racially, culturally, socioeconomically diverse group of people with different interests and political views. Religion, gender, and age matter. Some argue Democrats and liberals took Latino voters for granted, assuming Trump's immigration policies would swing them blue. But immigration isn't all they care about. In many parts of the country, Republicans are better at speaking to Latino voters on issues that matter to their lives, like the economy, jobs, and religion. There's a relationship, right? A uh, uh, trust uh, built uh, over time, and, and they'll continue uh, to, to, to vote that way. Take Florida, for example, where Trump fared well this election. The large population of Cuban and Venezuelan immigrants and Latino evangelicals tend to be conservative. But looking at Arizona, Latinos turned out and voted for Biden, helping Dems flip the state. There, years of grassroots get-out-the-vote efforts mobilize Latinos. In Oregon, too, organizations like Bakun and Causa worked hard to engage and educate Latinos. We're creating this, this power of, you know, being engaged and really learning, like, what, what it means to vote as well as what issues are on the line. Marion County, that used to be in the red, even a majority for, for Biden. Cal says civic engagement director's parents recently became citizens and voted for the first time this election. They weren't really involved in politics or anything. They were more focused on work and then taking care of us, a family. Um, but now I kind of push them to kind of really learn what, how they can participate in, in our democratic process. As the Latino population grows in America, this election should serve as a lesson for both parties. We need to um, not put them all in one box, but really figure out the issues that, that best um, resonate with them. On and off an election cycle, then, then that engagement needs to be there. Morgan, can we just circle back real quick to what we heard the OSU professor mention? Mm -hmm. He said Marion County flipped blue and went for Biden. Yeah, that's right. Biden won by 1% this election year. In 2016, Trump won by 4%. And there were 30,000 more registered voters in Marion County this year huh. compared to 2016. And voter turnout was about 2% higher. So why do experts think that there was higher turnout there? Well, there's a few different factors at play, and this is kind of the national scene as well, right? There's a lot more energy around this race. And then in Marion County and other counties in Oregon, more people becoming U.S. citizens, as well as those grassroots organizations I mentioned, like Bakun and Causa, who year after year are working on bipartisan civic engagement among the Latino community. And this year, obviously, it paid off. You know, they educate Latinos on issues that matter to their lives. They encourage them to register to vote really just get them involved in the civic engagement process. Great explainer, really good insight. Morgan, thank you.